Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Aidy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an intro and an outro. So, let's get to it. A link to the website so you can make your intro. So right now I am on it. And you can pick any of these right here, or you can go down to where it says where it says more creations. And we're gonna click on that and put yes, leave page. And then you're gonna see a lot more. And there's like a lot of pages more. Like you can go down and down and there's a lot more. But for now I'm just gonna use this one. I clicked on it and now you're gonna put open and click maker. So after you're in it, we're gonna click the eyeball right here at the bottom. And then we're going to push play so we can see how it looks. Okay, and I know it says name, but we're going to change that here in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to put pause because like, I think that's alright. But like you can go through as many as you want and see which one you like the most. So we're going to go right here where it says the check mark. First, we're going to put it in... You can put 1080p or 720p. It just depends which one you use. But I'm going to stick with 1080. You're going to put your frame rate. I'm going to put 30. And then right here is going to be the length that you want your video. Personally, my length my length of my intro is 12 seconds. Um, you don't want to go longer than 12 because you don't want people to get bored of your intro and just like swipe out of your video. So let's see how long it would be with 12. <laughs> Okay, now let's go to where it shows like a cube. And this is where we're going to change your name and more whatever else you want to change. Right here it says name and we're going to change that to your channel name or whatever you prefer it to say. I'm just going to put my name because that's what I have on my channel. And as you can see right here, it shows a little too big. So where it says height right here, you can change that number. We're going to put 12 right there. Let's see how much. Okay, that makes a difference. So I'm going to put mu and let's play it. So let's see how it looks. See, that's better. But like I said, you can change a lot of stuff with it. Just right here, there's the editing right here. And if you didn't like the music that it comes with you, if you have your own, you can change it as well. And you go here to export it or whatever. So you're going to do that. I would put good quality because I want it better than just the normal. And you'll download it. Simple as that. And it'll be on your desktop after. So now, let's show you how to make an outro. So the link to the outro one, to where I make my outro, is PicMonkey, but also you could also make your outro on this website right here, which maybe be easier, but I like to do it my my way. So let's go to PicMonkey. Also, that link is going to be in the description as well. So let's put edit photo. Okay, so we're going to go right here to where it says canvas color, and you're going to pick whatever color you want. Mine is usually um, black. Then you're going to put apply. And then we're going to go right here to where it says text, where it shows the TT, whatever. We're going to put add text. Okay, let's type in, let's change the color so that we can see it. Let's type in check out my previous video, or you can type in how whatever you want. So we're going to put that like right here. It doesn't really matter where you put it, it just depends on you and how you want it. Okay, well first we're going to go to... Google. Okay, now that we are at Google, we're going to put we're going to put transparent Snapchat logo. And it's in caps because my cap lock was on, but oh well, right? So we're going to go to images. Find one that's transparent. Okay, so we're going to slide that to your desktop. Okay, after that is on your desktop, we're going to go back to PicMonkey. And right here where it says add your own, we're going to add our own and put my computer. And we're going to find that picture. It's right here. Click on it. Bam. Put it wherever you want it. Let's put it like about here. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, next let's go look for the Instagram one. So we have a transparent Instagram logo. Let's see. 
Okay, that one's pretty good, so let's use that one. Slide it to your desktop. Go back to PicMonkey. Add my computer. Get the Instagram one. Bam. Make it smaller. Okay, now we're going to add a text of your um, Instagram and um, Snapchat usernames. So my both... Mine are both the exact same, so I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna type it out once for both since they're the exact same. So add text, type in your username. Okay, now put it where you want it. I'm gonna put it about there, that's good. So now we want the subscribe button. I mean, you can put whatever you want on this, it's up to you. But just remember to put transparent so that it doesn't show a background. Okay, so let's find one that we like, right? Mm, let's do this one. I like this one. Go to the butterfly, put add my computer, and look for that picture. So we're going to put it like about right here. And we can go back and add arrows and all that so you can like have a lot of stuff on it. But it's up to you. Whatever you want, you do. But just remember to leave space if you're going to put your previous video on right here. So leave space there. Also, on the outro too, when you're editing your videos on YouTube, you have a little picture one that will show your face or whatever is on your profile of your YouTube and you can put that there too. So leave your, cor your right corner right here empty or wherever, I think you can put it wherever, but that's usually where I put it so you can leave a space anywhere so you can put that in. And then we're going to put, add a text, add text. And we're going to put, don't forget to subscribe. So that's good. So let's put that here. And then we're going to find an arrow. So let's go here and find one you like. Oh, let's do this one right here. So that's how you make an outro. You can do a lot more things to it. You can make it however you want to. But that is how I make mine on PicMonkey. Um, you can decide to do it on the other one. But this is how I do it. And like I said, you can get a lot of pictures off Google. Just put transparent so that it doesn't have a background and it looks better. Also, but next week I'm going to show you how I, how I edit my YouTube videos. So tune in for that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and I hope it helped you. Bye.